Saturdays in the southwest went up to 25 miles per hour. Breezy overnight, mostly clear in the low 50s. Another windy day for Thursday, mostly sunny in the mid to upper 70s. Southwest wind up to 30 miles per hour. Chance of showers and thunderstorms for Friday. Jonesboro, that's your KLEK 102.5 FM weather. From Feature Story News in London, I'm Catherine Drew. Russia has urged the U.S. not to use military action to retaliate for an alleged chemical weapons attack on the Syrian city of Duma at a U.N. Security Council meeting, which saw three resolutions about the attack fail to pass. Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg faces a second day of testimony at the U.S. Congress after telling senators Tuesday the social media site was in an arms race with Russia. And five athletes from Cameroon have gone missing from the Commonwealth Games being held in Australia. It's 9.01. KLEK LP Jonesboro, the voice of Arkansas Minority Advocacy Council. It's now time for Community Conversations, a program focusing on the people working to make the Jonesboro community a better place while offering viewpoints from all sides of the issues. The views expressed in this program are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect the views of KLEK 102.5 FM, the voice of Arkansas Minority Advocacy Council, or our underwriters or sponsors. Good morning, everyone, and happy Wednesday to you. I hope that you're having a great start to your day. You're tuned in to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM. I'm your host, Quabila Jones, and my very special guest today is Mr. Corey Mills from Bank Corp South, and we're going to be talking about the Home Buyer Seminar. So good morning to you, Corey. Good morning, Kabila. Thanks for having me. All right, so let's talk about how did this um, seminar come to be? I know this is a very important topic, and many people are interested in buying homes, especially those, and I hate to use the word millennial age, but in the younger, younger than me, <laughs> people that are younger than me, and even those that are in my age bracket, people are now looking to home ownership. Now the economy has seemed to kind of level it out some, so... Let's talk about how did this um, seminar come to be and get into some more details. Okay. Well, April is Fair Housing Month okay. um, across the nation. So what the company at Bank of South do every year, they recognize that month and they host a seminar um, to educate the public about the process of home buying. Oh, okay. Uh, so this is something that's been going on before my time. Oh, okay. Um, when I just got into this position. It's something that is, hey, Corey, we want you to put that on and uh, I've been scrambling to get it done. And here we are. Uh, thank you for having me today to promote the event. Uh, I think it's going to be a great, great uh, knowledge piece for the community. Uh, it's free to the community. It will be Tuesday, April 17th, 4 to 6 p.m. We are going to have realtors talking about the process of the home buying. Um, we also will have closing attorneys, uh, home inspectors, and myself and another mortgage loan officer from Bank for South to discuss some of the products we have and the process of getting funding for uh, when you purchase your home and borrow your, your, get your loan approved. Okay. Without giving away too many details of the <laughs> seminar, let's just talk about a few things that um, entail. What's some of the first steps to take when you're looking into buying a home? First thing you want to do is get pre-approved okay because most real estate agents are not going to waste their time um, if you can't get finances to purchase a mm -hmm. home so you want to get pre-approved to see if you have the uh the credit of course that's okay. very important to uh, <laughs> yes. uh to far as decision making into getting a, a loan okay uh, and of course you look at your 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 income and your debt to income ratio uh, a lot mm -hmm. of those factors go into play when you're purchasing a home. Okay, so um, would you advise people say, let's just say as early as 21, you know, when they get their first job, really start looking at, really start thinking about the future and maybe where you want to be and what some things you want to obtain mm -hmm. and don't let time catch up on you. And right. I'm like, okay, now you're 40 and you just now trying to get your life right. <laughs> <laughs> no shot, no, no shade to anyone I, that's 40 because I'm in my 40s too. But anyway, <laughs> well, I, I think it's great for uh, the younger you are and the more you're educated on money and budgeting and finances, okay. uh, I think you'll be ahead of the curve um, okay. out here because home ownership is a, your first start of creating wealth. 
Oh. I say when you buy a property, that property, best case scenario, <laughs> if it appreciates over time, okay. you can always uh, refi to put money out of it or sell it and make money. You know, uh, if you cause would like to move to another location, you can uh, use it as a rental property, bring you some more extra cash flow in. So uh, doing that, that young, I remember when I went to college and stayed in an apartment for how many years, but if I had the mindset to, okay, I got the credit, I got cash flow coming in, let me go ahead and buy a home, because I've been here five, six years. And that five, six years, I could have been paying towards something that I own versus put paying rent. Now, I'm, I'm a... I'm not against the landlords because I'm a landlord myself, but if you have that home, that's your form of creating uh, some type of wealth. Okay, because um, there's other, another term that I'm familiar with, equity. You can build mm -hmm. equity over time. Yes, yes. Um, but of course, that comes with, the little bit that I've learned, you have to pay your bills on time. You have to pay your loan or your mortgage. Mm -hmm on time and you know keep up with the interest and all the things that go along with that mm -hmm. in order to build up that equity that you can pull from is that what you pull from well when you, you create equity in home of course you you look at that property and say over time will it appreciate or depreciate okay gotcha. so that's why it's very important for communities to understand the, the the importance of keeping up a property the maintenance of a property okay. because that in terms uh, will help that property value go up over time instead of depreciate when you get people that don't, don't take care of those properties, uh, you know, trashing in, not maintaining the outside of it and the internal side of it. Um, that's where you really build your equity up. And as you pay down your loan, whatever it's appraising for, that's what it's worth. Let's say if I go into a situation, purchase a home for 150000 okay. Over time, I pay it down to 100000 And it's still appraising. Hopefully, it went up 10000 Now it's <laughs> worth 160000 Okay. So I have, have $60,000 worth of equity in that property that I have now because I paid it down that much. And so that's, again, if I need that money, I can probably refinance it with a bank and take that to do something else or invest in something. It's all about your strategic plan on where you're trying to go for the team and, uh, and growing financially. Okay. So during the seminar, will you also touch on, okay, now that you've bought this home, how to manage your other expenses so that you don't fall into the risk, run the risk of losing the home? Mm -hmm. What we will discuss in, in, in the seminar is your debt to income. You you It's a certain range that you want to keep your 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 mortgage costs and then your household operating expense okay. you want to keep at a certain uh, threshold because y again you will have those unexpected expenses that might come up in the future that you want to be prepared for so even in life when you're budgeting you want to allocate so much money towards certain expenses or certain bills um, uh, throughout your your budget okay so it, we would definitely touch that um, and that'll be something that we'll go deeper into okay. at the seminar. Yeah, like I said, we don't want to give too much away yeah, because yeah. we want you all to go out and go to the seminar. It's free. I mean, who can who can be Price free? Free education okay. like this is, is <laughs> priceless. Okay, I want to say good morning to a few people. Uh, Reverend Kirby Newsom, Tier Hamilton, Cornelius Moore, um, Lachey so, Robinson. Tia, you Thank you all for joining our conversation. I hope that you are marking your calendars <clears throat> and you're going to the seminar next Tuesday. Um, it's free, so please go out. Even if you're not into buying, if you're not looking to buy a home, say this year, right. you never know what the next two, three to five years will bring for you. Correct. If there's going to be a job change or, you know, location change, that might be mm. something that's on the table for you. So one thing I want to talk about, um, before someone buys a home, do they, I'm asking as, you know, someone, I know the answer to this, but <laughs> for someone who may not, um, look at the location. Am I going to live here? How long am I going to live mm -hmm. in this place before I dump all this money into this home <laughs> like right. are you or will you all touch on being mindful of where you live like where you buy a home yes yes okay yes. because again it's an investment okay so you you want a good return on that investment you don't want to lose out uh, in the future um we will we will touch on that okay and then 
also concerning location looking at the overall neighborhood um property value mm -hmm. things of that nature mm -hmm. will you um mention that to be taken into consideration also right um when you're buying a home yeah again as, as a previous discussed about that appreciation depreciation okay. <laughs> uh definitely important as far as that property and everyone to be in the neighborhood to, can be on one accord and understanding I think the key component here is to educate those on the importance of maintenance, property maintenance, mm -hmm. uh, uh, in, in the neighborhood being on one accord. Because if I'm doing all this in one one house, to my house in the neighborhood, and you got the, my neighbors over here doing, that. <laughs> doing this, <laughs> it's a possibility they're going to bring their property value down. So if you we can educate uh, the masses and neighborhoods on the importance of that. And how it will help them and if you invest in that your, your investment can possibly uh increase over time okay I appreciate well, over time i want to um mention the speakers that you all have mm -hmm. um you have candace brooks oh sorry my eyes are <laughs> um from westbrook reeves westbrook and reeves real estate mm -hmm. uh scott boyle boyle property inspections mm -hmm. malia layton and dominique yule Mm -hmm. Okay, from Jonesboro Urban Renewal and Housing Authority and David Gates, Professional Title Services of Arkansas. Now, let's talk about inspections. Um, I don't think some people understand how important that is when it comes to also buying a home. All right. Again, I'm going to touch it on the surface and I won't <laughs> give too much up. Uh, the meetup is going to be at the seminar, but uh, yeah, you definitely want to get that property inspected because you want to know what you're investing in. You get something that you buy it on a on a short sale and you buy that property and it has plumbing issues a bunch of issue foundation mm -hmm. issues you wouldn't know that just by the the, the normal person uh viewing it from his his perspective looking okay. at the property so you want a home inspector to come in and thoroughly inspect mm -hmm. that property so you can know what you're invested in wow okay um, I want to also say good morning to Brother Bernard Cobbs, one of our other volunteers. What's going on, Brother Cobbs? He's <laughs> probably cutting hair somewhere. <laughs> um, and on the flyer, um, you have a lot, there's a lot of great talking points. And I really hope that people take advantage of this opportunity to get this free knowledge. Yes. Like, yeah. where else can you go to get this free knowledge um, and to have these professionals come and give their time and right. share their expertise on how to go about the process mm -hmm. um on the flyer it says how to build repair your credit that is number one i've seen a lot of people that are have gotten into the business of helping others mm -hmm. to repair their credit that's <laughs> major can you touch a little bit on some do's don'ts you know okay. um, when it comes to credit <laughs> in general i like to first of all give a uh, <laughs> shout out to ryan beavers last night he gave a credit repair a similar hair so okay. i'll come down to brick house and, and give a, a lecture on that um it's very important um to to build your credit some things that you don't want to do while you're in the process of trying to get a home finance okay just go out and apply for more credit and stuff like that because um. they're looking at that you know they're going to make the uh, informed decision on can this person pay their loan back uh -huh. because it's in a it's a, a risk versus rewards you know so if you're irresponsible with certain things you won't be responsible with paying a mortgage <laughs> so the bank's going to make that decision based off that credit if you it's very important to have uh, a mature and a healthy credit score and a, a payment history Okay. Because that is going to show the, the lender that you're, you're responsible enough to take her on this uh, responsibility, financial responsibility of getting that loan. Okay, we're ready. Um, Brother Cobb says, what about lease purchase? And I don't, I'm new to the terminology. Like, I've never looked into buying a home. So, mm -hmm. um, he just says, what about lease purchase? I don't know exactly. Oh, well, that, that would be on you and that particular person that owns the uh, that property. Okay. Uh, and the lease of purchase, most of the time, uh, a tenant that's renting from a landlord, that landlord may give that person, uh, did you say lease to purchase? Lease said, purchase. Yeah. Give that person the option to buy a home. Now, those terms will be negotiated between that lender and that, I mean, that, that 
uh, tenant and landlord. Okay, so that's outside the bank. Yes. Okay. Now, when it comes to the point to where, okay, we're ready to get financed and you all make your arrangements from that point, then we can visit that as far as getting it financed. Okay. Another, um, Chelsea said, Chelsea Chapman says, good morning. Hey, uh, Chelsea. People, um, and shout out to Corey for his new position out here working it. <laughs> Thank you, Chelsea. <laughs> and Lachey says, will unpaid hospital bills affect you when you were buying a home? Yes, it can. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> always, always know what's on your credit. Ooh. Okay, um, you can go to, is it my annual credit report and get a free report once a year? Okay. Um, you you, you want to go into the situation kind of knowing wh where you at that way uh, even purchasing a car or anything like that you want to know where you at because the, the more people run your credit the more it's going to decrease it <laughs> okay <laughs> so uh, yeah the medical bills will it can affect you uh, because it's debt okay you know so what we're looking at is telling up how much debt is total to this person because that that could add up you know okay. small medical bills uh, you may want to try to reach out to that company and, and make some type of payment arrangement, and, and, you know, just to get it going, just to knock it down a little bit. Now, I tell a lot of people, don't get discouraged if your credit's not where it's at. Home buying process could be something that takes a year or two uh, of planning to uh, prepare yourself to really, really actually be ready to purchase a home. You know, the first thing again, where's my credit? Okay. Okay. What I need to knock off here, what I need to pay off, what I need to dispute. Uh, this is incorrect. You know, a lot of a lot of fraud is going on now to, uh, with, with oh. identity theft. You know, in the world, that's a big topic right now. So if you want to know what's on your credit and dispute those things that are incorrect that you don't know about. Um, like you can get that taken off of there. Um, this con contacting those credit bureaus wow. again i think I'm, I'm, i might be going a little bit too deep <laughs> all right we'll, we'll let's see if i can find another topic we can touch on um all right um the role of the real estate agents and lenders in the home buying process how important is it to keep a good relationship um with your um real estate agent <laughs> okay as a lender or as a buyer a as borrower. a buyer <laughs> as a borrower uh you definitely want to be in one accord and communicate with them at throughout their process uh, because the lender is talking with the borrower the borrower is talking with the real estate agent okay. so you got a lot of moving parts okay so for everyone to be in and in, in sync with one another okay if if you're a person in property and, and, and we're going through your process as getting you that loan um, and I'm going to need to get in touch with you and you certain things you need to give me. If I can't get in touch with you, then that, that real estate agent might can get in touch with you. So she, he or she is going to communicate with you um, to say, hey, we, we need to get something to, to the, the mortgage company quick okay. before we can get your stuff clear in the process. So it's, it's very important that everybody is, is transparent and working together to get everything closed and getting that bar in that property. All right, so you have to make sure this is what you want to do. You have to be available, not say like on call 24-7, but on. you have to be available for when um, they may need, say, extra paperwork, extra proof of something, mm -hmm. just because, questions in general. <laughs> again, you have the different speakers, you know, the, 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 the property inspector, um, um, the professional title services, uh, the attorneys that are closing out, so, and, and the agents, so... When you get the appraisal and everything, you, these people are going to have to be connecting over time with, okay. with, with you or the real estate agent. So okay. everybody has to be on point. Okay. Wow. Um, and I know I'm not going to, don't want you to answer this, but as when it comes to saving, well, no answer like direct, you're going to have to come to the seminar. <laughs> um, <laughs> is there a recommended amount? You can say yes or no. Is there a recommended amount of savings someone should have? to go towards closing cost um you know towards their home <laughs> okay it it, it is okay. it is so. um and that's something again come to that seminar <laughs> we're going to touch it it definitely is different loan products require you to pay so much down some 
uh, require you to pay nothing down. We have a product called a right at home product that's 100% financed and, and you pay up to, up to $500 down to, to get in the house. But uh, certain other programs, you have to pay a certain percentage down. Um, you can go in a situation, hey, I'm coming in, I got 20000 I want to put down to decrease my loan amount. You know, that way your mortgage know to be cheap every month. Okay. So it's all about the strategy that you have going into it. And it's always great to have a great savings, of course, okay. you know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we'll, t we'll touch that. <laughs> we'll okay. That. Now, do you advise people, um, some people decide they may have a family of two, them and one or two other kids. They want a five-bedroom house. Do you try to <laughs> tell people, okay, let's look with buy something within your means yes like unless you unless you plan on expanding your family mm -hmm. do you really need a five bedroom house <laughs> all right i mean you you have to be realistic with what you can afford <laughs> okay okay uh, and what your credit will, will allow you to get <laughs> so again on on this is mainly focused on first time home buyers okay so unless you got the finance unless you have the finances you know I think you want to start off enough where you're comfortable enough okay. to, again, we're going to touch this on how much money you should put, percentage of your income you should put towards uh, your, your mortgage and everything. So I think you should start off realistically and start bending your way up to okay. that five bedroom. <laughs> okay. We have another question. Um, good morning, Philogansy. And Lachey says, morning, do you have to register for this seminar or just walk in? Uh, you can walk in, but we're we're asking people to RSVP. You can contact me on my cell phone or email me. Uh, my y'all have a flyer on your okay. yes. The flyers posted on Instagram okay. and our kaylekfm.org website. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, you can give me a call or or or, or email us. We're, we're trying to provide a few snacks and stuff. We want to have a kind of a head count of okay. um, what to have, what to prepare for. So it'd be great if you can RSVP, but not just just come on. I'm, I'm asking everybody that's listening to come out, bring a friend, tell a friend, churches, okay. organizations, please come out because it's going to be some great information um, <laughs> from the real estate agents, the lenders, wow. like I said, the closing attorneys, uh, companies. Um, There's a lot of professionals that are coming with years and years of experience. Though. Yes. I also want to say good morning to Pamela Cole, Kel, Coleman Kell. Um, Bishop Adrian Rogers, Miss Billy Hill. Y'all tell a friend, bring a friend. Come on out to the seminar next Tuesday, April 17th, 4 to 6 p.m. And this is going to be at the Delta Center for Economic Development, room 201, yes. which is on the campus of Arkansas State University. Um, home buyer seminar. So come on out, bring a friend, bring everybody. You yeah, know? bring a friend. And please. register, or at least register early so they can get a head count of who's all coming. Yes, um, please do. So, all right. Any final words in 30 seconds? <laughs> 30 seconds. Come out, tell a friend. Again, home buy seminar, Tuesday, April 17th, 4 to 6. If you'd like to RSVP, uh, give me an email at corey.mills at bxs.com. Or, or give me a call or take me on my cell phone. Uh, we have uh, real estate agents, home inspectors, clothing attorneys. We have the John Burr Urban Housing Renewal Authority. They have some great things going on where they can help assist some of their clients with home buyer home buying. So I mean, you, you, if you're in a, in a market of purchasing your home in the next year or so or six months, come out and get this information because you want to know what you're walking into and you want to be informed about that. That way you can sit at the table and know the lingo and okay. kind of be prepared for it. All right. Thank you have for a listening great day, to Community everybody. Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM program focusing on the people working to make the Jonesboro community a better place while offering viewpoints from all sides of the issues. The views expressed in this program are